Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about a topic that everyone knows exists but many do not know how it really works. Rent to own. Simply put, rent to own programs allow you to rent a home with the option to purchase it in the future. But is it really as simple as it sounds? What's up everyone? My name is Preeti Rao and I am both a real estate broker and a mortgage broker for close to 20 years. Thank you so much for tuning in and if you are new, welcome to my channel. But before I proceed, you know the drill. Please make sure to like, share and tap that bell icon and hit that subscription button. Gets me motivated to keep you up to date with everything real estate. Now, in these past few years, with house values climbing the way they did, many people have been shut out of the traditional housing market. And as a result, we've seen the proliferation of rent-to-own companies offering a viable alternative to traditional financing, in which you rent a home for a certain amount of time, with the option to buy it before the lease expires. So, who does this apply to? Now, if you have a strong job, good credit, a minimum 5% down, you can easily walk into a bank and apply for what is known as a traditional mortgage and get it. If you are self-employed, you may have to put down 20% and you can, or you can even go to the B lenders. The rent to own programs come into play when you fall right in the middle of the B lenders and the private lenders. It applies to people who have the 5% down but do not have a good credit or the income they earn is good but not enough for the banks or the B lenders. That is when you can opt to go in to the rent to own program. So let me explain how this really works in detail. Let's say you have bad credit, which is 95% of the time why you need to take a rent to own. Your score is in the 500s and you want to buy a home for let's say 700,000. You have your 5% down, but because your credit is bad, you cannot qualify under the CMHC guidelines. You decide to go with the rent to own program. As a buyer, you find an independent investor who is willing to buy the property on your behalf and rent it back to you for a period of three years. You enter into an agreement with this said investor where you put down the 5% as a down payment and then agree to a predetermined monthly payment. Out of that monthly payment, a certain portion is set aside and accumulated as an ongoing down payment for the house and the rest of the money is the rent you pay to the investor for living in the home that is his or hers. After three years, you have worked to fix your credit and now you have got a 680 beacon score that CMHC requires, stable income and the accumulated down payment. You go to the bank with the rent to own contract and proof of deposit, your income, your credit, etc. And you buy the home back at a pre-decided price when you originally signed the contract three years ago. Sounds good, right? Yeah, like I said in many of my other videos, people are people and people tend to get greedy. What happens if you buy a home for 700,000 and decide that the investor will sell it back to you at $770,000 three years later? You have diligently been making the payments, paying more than the market rent, as the additional funds were, were supposed to go as a down payment. Now let's say that life happens and you are making these extra payments, plus managing your living expenses. You were not able to fix your credit like you wanted it to. What happens after the three years? The property that you have agreed on for 770,000 is now worth 900,000. What do you think that investor is going to do? The three years are gone. You are not in a position to go to the bank. You have signed this contract, but your contract is up. You have not honored your part of the contract of fixing your own credit. Do you lose all the money? Possibly yes. And I can say this with confidence, as I have personally seen scenarios like this when I was only a mortgage broker. I would get calls from desperate clients who have signed a contract under the rent to own program with independent real estate investors. Those contracts were so one-sided because they did not know what exactly they were signing. If they missed making a monthly payment, the contract was null and void. If they did not correct their credit to the exact score that was required, their contract would become null and void. I would read these contracts and there was, there was nothing I could do for them. Not only did those clients lose their deposit, they also lost all the money that they put in lieu of the future down payment. And the only reason why those investors would take the buyers to court for minor mistakes is because they did not want to let go of that additional 
$200,000 in equity that they had not anticipated when they signed the original contract. Now, this was all back in 2005 and 2006, but today, Rent to Own has become a more streamlined business, with the Liberal government finally intervening and putting a stop to the lynching that was going on by independent investors. So where do we stand today when it comes to the Rent to Own? Today, there are companies that offer these services with proper contracts in place that are fair to both parties, absolutely transparent on all costs associated with the program, lawyers to protect both the company and the buyers. And from the very get-go, you know exactly what you're getting into, what the buyout value of your property will be, what is going to be your responsibility and what is going to be the investor's responsibility. And it is extremely important that you have an ironclad agreement in place. So let's talk about your responsibilities if you choose to avail this program. Once you like a home, talk to an experienced mortgage broker. They have access to lending companies that specialize in rent-to-own programs. They will look at the application and the income and they will look at your credit, but they don't give credit that much of a priority. And they approve you with different payment options, which you can choose from, the one that works best for you. Remember, the monthly payment includes the market rent, which is the higher amount as compared to the remaining portion, which is the lower amount that goes towards the future down payment. Once you choose to sign a rent to own agreement with the investor who is vetted by the lending company, they then buy the property on your behalf. Now, the lending companies don't leave you high and dry once a deal closes. They are with you through and through. They have credit repair programs that you must enroll in. They keep track of all payments made and if you run into financial trouble, they are the ones who guide you because they are governed and just like any banks, they can be audited and they have to report to their respective ministries. Their agenda is not to keep you on their program forever. They want you gone in three years so they can then take that money and reinvest it to make more money in turn. And the program is designed in such a way that CMHC and all banks approve and accept. Now, another factor to understand is that since the investor is the buyer, they pay all the land transfer tax, the lawyer fees, basically everything associated with the purchase of that home. You, as the future buyer and current tenant, will be responsible for your approval of your application and when it comes to the property you pay the fees associated with the application which includes the independent legal advice now that is extremely important for you to understand what you're really getting into you also pay the home inspection and the appraisal if that's applicable there is a 1% broker fee a refundable exit strategy planning fee which on an average is around a thousand dollars and that's it and you can potentially move into a home and if you are the kind who is diligent and is aware that you have three years to fix your credit and maintain the home. In three years, you will be the proud owner of the home that you're living in. Now, there's a lot more about rent to own that is impossible for me to cover in this one video. So if you are curious to know how it works, call me and we can set up a one-on-one -on -one time to chat. So if you found value or you like this video and would like to see more content, click on the boxes on the screen. Once again, my name is Preeti Rao and my contact information is in the description box below. Make sure to hit like, share, subscribe, and the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to call me because I hold the key that opens the door to your dream home.